You've stumbled into another nostalgic void. Drifting, searching with your rose-colored glasses. Fear not, what an odd cast is here to guide you. With hosts Jared Minikheim, Anthony Denny, Michael Kennedy, and Sven Magnuson. Stay odd and hold on tight. Welcome back to episode 273.5. Anthony fucked up and we've been recording for 15 minutes without anything. So if you want to hear us re-record that, please donate to the please gods here on donate. Patreon. Please, because God. Because it's just not... I can't. One somebody... Piece is being delayed to April. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z <laughs> Sparkling is zero. Uh, IGN sucks. IGN sucks. And that's where we're at. That's really where we're at. We're talking... <laughs> Michael's about to talk about Echoes of Wisdom. Yeah, I was about ready to talk Jared about... Jared Anthony Denny. <laughs> Michael Kennedy. Jesus I just... <sighs> had a good flow going, We too. did. It was yeah, so good. God Thank you for noticing that now. Be... And now at the end of the shot our recording. The fucking I bumped foot. the mic, so I looked over to see how Bart had spiked. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I, I uh, that says stop. Yeah, so we talked about One Piece. I'm caught up on One Piece, and the One Piece anime is being delayed. Talk about Dragon Ball Z. IGN sucks. There is something else in there too. Trans Naruto. You oh, yeah, Nar Naruto. Transformers. Naruto. Transformers. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Oh, <sighs> got good energy, guys. Good energy. We got just. Woo! Anthony shot it in the foot dead. My anyway, big hairy balls oh, well, <laughs> menacingly on your table. Are we sure we're recording? Yep, we're sure. I'm sure. So, so stop I, recording I, now. I, okay. Uh, 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 anyway, I would like to talk about uh, um, Echoes of Wisdom. Yes. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. <laughs> this shot may not have any momentum. I, we might have to come back to it. All right. Let's talk about something. We're going to come back to what? it because I, no, I, can't, I can't just pick up where I've been. That's, you we're, know what? We're, that's we're fair. About. Uh, you know what I want to talk about? Okay. So, like, we've all oh, talked okay. about, right. uh, we've, we talk about music extensively on this mm. podcast. I mean, when I say that, I mean Jared talks to us about metal music a lot. You know, that's, yeah, that's he talks fair. at us about there. metal music a lot there's, on this there's, podcast. There's, 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 there's at some least stuff there too. 14 episodes of him metal musicing to us <laughs> you know there is an uncle uh -huh. cracker song going around tiktok right do you guys remember who uncle oh cracker? i know follow i know me. exactly who uh -huh. uncle cracker is yeah, i'm very confused me. right now everything will be all right yeah the song is about cheating but people are like it's heroin <laughs> All millennials know this song and i need to bring this up here because everyone's like how do we know this song i think that many millennials like myself, Shit. we're left out of a plane shift that happened back early 2002 when... Or late September 2001. I need to double check something. <laughs> it was not then. I'm pretty sure it was before that. So give you me a second. A I so, do. Fun fact about this. This was the song that my high school track team decided was going to be our theme song. Uncle Crackers Follow Me. We sang it before... I about that. We sang it before the game. And as we were leaving, we sang it. And we said, and you say goodbye. And we all turned to the, op the opposite team and said it. We were a bunch of fucking dumbass teenagers. Not even that fun That's of a song. Stupid. So stupid. I... <sighs> oh, Wee. high school. Uh, so, yeah. Somewhere around uh, why? after 9-11... Post second inauguration mm -hmm. of Bush. George W. Bush, w. <laughs> the right. world was on fire with a song called "When the Sun Goes Down" by Mr. Kenny Chesney, yep. featuring <sighs> Uncle Cracker, yep. who does like the second <laughs> refrain. Yep. From there, Uncle Cracker has like one good song, and it's the one that everyone sees. Like, how do I know this song? It's because your mind intuitively, early in that 24, 2004 time, I was just starting like middle school, high school. A lot of the girls at the time who were like, I'm too good for country music, started dating high school boys with jacked up trucks, really getting into country music. Yep. Swept the name. That is how you know. The Uncle Cracker song is because you got into Kenny Chesney and music like that. And Uncle Cracker, he's got a couple good songs, but that is the primary one because it's basically the exact same format as the Kenny Chesney song, When the Sun Goes Down, We'll Be Grooving. Yes, sir. Yeah, Jerry. you're going to phrase first. Oh, I was just going to add in yeah. there. Uh, I, as much as I don't like country, I have actually seen Kenny Chesney and Gretchen uh, Gretchen yeah. White live. And yeah. they actually put on a really good show. Yeah, Kenny Chesney's a great performer. Oh, we were in the Sabre Stadium. He could, uh -huh. like came up from the Raptors and like a swing started up with so, the sun goes down. And it was I like just everybody want it wild. Here on this podcast now, 
when millennials are like, how do I know this entire song? Oh, that is how you know that fucking song. Yes. It was literally 10 years ago now that this, or 20 years ago now that this song came out and yeah. swept the entire thing because everyone knew Kenny Chesney <laughs> yep. and Uncle Cracker from Detroit, which is the big plug in why a lot of Michiganders <laughs> know it too because he's from it's Detroit. Detroit. I was just about to say, yeah. I fa- just found out he's part of the Kid Rock Twisted Brown Trucker yes. Band. Yes, he is, which is another reason why people know him is because Kid Rock also has collabs with him. That is how you know fucking Uncle Cracker. Apparently in 1994, Kid Rock Rock did live performances backed by, this is his name, (sighs) DJ Blackman and Uncle Cracker. Yes. I forgot that they were... DJ Blackman does not have a hyperlink. I'm so sad. I wouldn't see how (laughs) it (laughs) is. But yeah, that is how... And I I see it all the time. Like You'll see TikToks with people like singing the entire song. That is how, 20 years ago... Many of you plane shifted. I yep. did not. I yeah, remained you know. in this reality where I know that Kenny Chesney, Uncle Cracker, Kid Rock, <laughs> the, it all Detroit big collab, right? That was like, the biggest thing in Michigan. It's like this little lame nobody named Uncle Cracker yes. singing with Kenny Probably Chesney fair. being invited to Florida to do the lives, the pay-per-views with him for this one fucking song. The rest of you plane shifted yeah. to a different reality where that knowledge just was like zapped from your mind. That is how you know King Uncle Cracker. I have to you know read this whole paragraph. Go Wikipedia. right ahead. Oh, I'm please sorry. Go ahead. No. <clears throat> Through extensive promoting, including distributing on tapes, consignment to local stores, and giving away free samples of his music, the band developed a following among audience was DJ Uncle Cracker described as white kids who dropped acid and like listening to gangsta rap. Yes. This following included rapper Joe C, who had been attending the band's concert as a fan, but upon meeting Kid Rock, was invited to perform on stage as Kid Rock's hype man. Joe C stood at three foot oh, nine inches and noted for his dynamic, popular, dirty mouth presence. In radio interview, Ted Nugent publicly commented, commended, oh, oh, sorry, publicly condemned Kid Rock for letting Joe C perform, as Nugent believed that it was a six-year-old child. That's funny. Ted Nugent's a just <laughs> idiot, insane yeah. man. So Th- not even an idiot. He's just one mentally of those, unstable. Give me one of those you put up on TikTok. Here's how you know Uncle Cracker. You dumb piece of shit. That, that is how you know him. That, I would February agree. 20, 2004. I literally right after George W. Bush sworn into the White House for his... Yeah, yeah. Or right yeah. before the election. Yeah, going into his second... Yes. But yeah, that's how you know Uncle Cracker is because he, he was huge 20 years ago. Most of you playing shifted to a different reality. I got to remain in this reality where this information is burned into <laughs> my head no because my mother loved Kenny Chesney. Kenny Chesney was the reason my parents and all of their friends wanted to go to Cancun. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so like, look how he makes all the tropical my... islands look. Yeah. It's only like, reason it's my not... mother would want to go to a beach. <laughs> like, yeah. Old blue it's... chair, man. Yeah. Uh huh. My mom was the same way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking get it. I fucking get it. You know that for one year, Kenny Chesney was married to Renee Zellweger? She, and it yes. it broke him. It broke him, Anthony. It broke him to the point where, like, he gave up on music for a while. Yeah. Oh, my God. Came That's back. True. Like, it's all, his next two albums were super <laughs> fucking sad. He's just getting back in. He, like, literally, mm-hmm. after the divorce, he just fucked off to his private island yeah. for, like, Four years. Yeah, every so often you get an interview with him, and he's just like tan, ripped yep. with a cowboy hat, ripped jeans, just living his best fucking life. <laughs> I very love true. That. It was. The, yeah. You ask my mother about that, she'll tell him yep. that that fucking whore ruined his music. It is okay. If now I have to put a Renee Zellweger in front of your mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad I don't know anything I she's think... in on the top of my head except for Stuart Little. We... Nope, that's not her. That is not her. No. That's the hot lady. We... The <laughs> issue is that she doesn't. Jennifer not... Chili. She doesn't not like Renee mm. Zellweger. That's the thing. Mm. <laughs> Speaking of divorces that ruin people, how about um no that's Bridget Dose Diary Chicago. <laughs> no, 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 me no, myself. Um, I she's doing okay. What? What? Oh. B movie. I give you credit there. <laughs> That's an inside God, joke, I, folks. I thought you were about to Monsters give me some paper. Aliens. Oh, God. No, actually, the, the, there was one what? random thing. Renee Zellweger? She's the lady. No, that's Reed Witherspoon. 
Ginormica uh, Susan. Are you sure? I'm like 90% sure that's Reese. For what one? It is. Monsters vs. Aliens. Oh, okay. Man. Trying to figure out who we're named. Uh, Katie, whoever fucking Katie is. Let's see one of her friends. Anyway, continue with the podcast. Uh, well, speaking of celebrity divorces, this caught me off guard yesterday, and I had a very good laugh because, much like most people I'm seeing, are having a very good laugh. Divorce is in the air, by the way. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, As the only married man on this podcast, <laughs> please. <clears throat> I'm about to catch it. Knock on wood. <laughs> like N1H1, it's fine. Anyway, uh, continue. So, do you guys remember that there was a documentary made? Uh, about uh, one yes. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck, <laughs> about how their love was so unbeatable and undying yeah, and magical. Back. You mean the one who? It was like one of those. They things, got divorced, and it's, it's one of those things where it's like right person, wrong time, and then it was wrong, wrong person, person, wrong time, time. <laughs> and then it was, and then it was wrong person, right time, and then it was just an so, absolute clusterfuck. Jennifer Lopez. When <sighs> when this was made, <laughs> it got. <laughs> It got popularity because of the cringiest shit she had filmed, especially when she was asking celebrities to guest spot. They're all like, yeah, no. no, on the phone. It was just cringy yet funny. But then also to see Ben Affleck when she asked him, like, oh, do you mind if I show all our intimate love lap things all over this documentary? And him being like, I no, I would rather like keep that private, hon. So she showed it anyway, like the scrapbook, the letters, the video, everything. This man is now divorcing her, to which now she has to go, no, I was just kidding. A relationship doesn't define me. Uh, I'm a strong, powerful woman. It's like, bitch, you made a whole documentary about your relationship and how that fucking defined your career. So now everyone is laughing at your stupidity. My favorite thing about J-Lo um, is, flavored kisses? Um, is, you know, Jenny from the block, as you might once know her. Yeah. Uh, um, she went back to her house. Yeah. That she used to live in, and she went to the man living there and said, I used to live here. And he said, who are you? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, that was that's also funny. in the dog. She was like walking through the streets like, everybody knows me. And everyone is like, who the fuck is that? Eh. I'm Jennifer the Black. Like, bitch, no. no like, knows. everyone. Jesus. <laughs> well, you, people only know you for one thing. You're having a big ass. In the uh, year of our 2024, it's a medium-sized ass. So, yeah, dude, she just... the only thing I know Jennifer Lopez from is from South Park in giving Ben uh, an angry. Uh, uh, Cartman giving Ben an angry. She was in a job. movie. Mike was my joke. Mike was my joke. Oh, she was in Anaconda. That's what I remember from. Yeah. yeah. That's it, though. Because you were our wedding planner. Okay. Not really, but you, you, you were the... The man with the microphone and the walkie-talkie. I was. This, this um, is true. Yes. I need to talk about another TikTok sensation. Oh, here we go. was popular we go. about three weeks ago when we were stopped recording. <laughs> 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 All right. Have you seen the cucumber salads? I know Heather has shown you. No. Okay, so you not you don't follow Logan? <laughs> He's a man who lives in, like, South or North Korea or South Korea or mm, something like no. that. So he has cucumber salads, and they look delicious. And he starts with, sometimes you just need an entire cucumber. And let me show you how to do it. Right? It's, it's fucking golden. It's golden. And basically, he just chops up, slices a cucumber really mm. thin, adds a bunch of shit to it, creates like a salad with cucumbers. They, they look oh, fucking I mean, that fantastic. sounds good. They, they are. They, look, they yeah. look amazing. I have yet to do it because I don't, I don't own a mandolin pinning in that. Two. I think I know I don't, her in high school. I don't have, I don't have the effort to do any of I mean, that that's I just fair don't. which brings me to our point about <laughs> two weeks ago pin removed yeah the pin remove it is has someone tried to make one of these cucumber salads and the man is like is a he's like he's like a cooker he does oh, like, no. oh, he okay. does a bunch of shit with his hands for a living so he's very good with his hands oh, and so he slices that fucking cucumber fast oh no you know what a mandolin is right? yeah oh, it's just I a know. fucking blade yeah someone like anthony has off the tip of their finger just and then wanted to go on TikTok and bitch about how they should ban the mandolin because it's unsafe. And so everyone jumped on her ass and be like, professional chefs have been using the mandolin for thousands yep. of years. You just gotta be careful with that when shit. When you said <laughs> mandolin, I don't know I've, if you I've audience, also gotten cut by one yeah. note. Oh, <laughs> you just heard me like cover my face tense, and just whisper tense, oh no tense. as i look at my scar yeah on my thumb yeah, i got cut by one too at one point while working yeah, produce it's, they're not safe yeah they're, they're, they're they're not 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 like he's very because like here's the thing it's super cut right so he's like mm -hmm. he, he cuts off the tip 
of the cucumber and then just start slicing. And he gets about halfway down and then it cuts to him like adding the shit to the salad. Mm. You don't see him do uh, the well, last yeah. half because it doesn't yeah. go nearly as fucking fast. Because yeah. so, you gotta be fucking careful. Let you me let me explain. Bitch. So most mandolins uh, that you can buy people, commercial, yeah. Um, like buy it over the counter yeah. over in the yeah, store. Yeah. Um, they come with a hand guard. They do because you safety do, yeah. issues. Yep. Well, yeah. Um, so the first and only time I ever use a mandolin is <laughs> at a hand guard. <laughs> only an ever time. <laughs> yes. Um, I was slicing tomatoes uh-huh. and I was slicing, and they take a long time because you got to stab yep. it into the plunger and you got it slowly goes down and it's fine. And I'm like, I can do this. I can stop before I cut myself. You can't. And I went chun 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 chun, and I went. And I'm like, and I stopped. I'm like, that was my thumb. That was your thumb. Ah, but the thing is, it's so sharp, it did not hurt. <gasps> yep. Because unlike a paper cut, which is jacket, this is just smooth. It, I'm hurting so much pain. And now. I just, I felt the plastic on my thumb, and oh. I knew I fucked up. <laughs> you like, have so much pain. Just like, luckily, I really didn't get hurt. a huge chunk out of my no. finger. It took me about, like, two months to heal up, though. Mm-hmm. Like, it was yeah. a hell of a oh, dip yeah. in there. Yeah. yeah. No, so, so. People mm-hmm. jumped on her shit, man. Like, yeah, yeah don't You're just use, an idiot. It's just <laughs> like, like, it's a flat piece of metal with a fucking blade on it. Yeah. It's basically a war crime thing. Like, yeah. So, Jesus yeah, Christ. But but very <laughs> sick. Ever since then, also, I, oh, like I said, it was only first and only. Yeah. Because ever since then, no matter <laughs> what rush I'm in, I'm like. It's going to chop away the knife. <laughs> no, no. I would say man. if the mandolin is very convenient, I got to get a new one. Yeah. Because I've had mine for, uh. God, like it's got blood on it. So six, no six to eight. <laughs> I've had it for, for like six years, yep. so it's well used, and it was yep. a cheap mandolin. Yep. Well, uh, I just but, had to bring that, that up. I'll, I'll explain you. the cucumber salads. No, I, I yeah. Guess. So they're yeah. very good. Okay. They are. Yeah, Heather's Heather, made a couple. Heather, yep. Heather's good. made a couple. Yep. You have to eat it all. Yeah, you can't. There's let it sit. no. You can't I love my wife. She is a beautiful woman, the mother of my children. She made a sushi cucumber salad, which oh, is very good. Delicious. Cream crab, cheese, yep, yeah. crab. All yeah, that, that, that sounds really and good. And then yeah. you know we separated um, um, because I had sriracha in mine, yep. and she doesn't like that much spice, or or she has to be in the mood for it. Right. And I'm like, I don't think this is gonna work out. But she's like, no, I'll be fine. So we put it in these glass containers, and overnight it's these seat. glass containers yep. became pressurized bombs. Yep. Yep. Because it, cucumbers seep liquid. Yes, they do. Yes. And when the liquid in the air, fill it up, yep. and there's nothing more. Yeah. That air, I had to open them up outside because yeah. I was afraid of exploding it. Yeah. And they did. They. Yeah. 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 Yes. So. Yeah. No, cucumbers are all water. Yeah. Like, so that's you can't save. It. That's you my only complaint easy. about it now. Heather making it is yep. yeah. There is no saving it. And next and next time she oh, makes it, it's like leftovers. And like nope. Anyway. Yep. It is. <laughs> It is what it is. <laughs> yep. Some might say that. Some might say it's the way she goes. So, um, this is going to be a thick sewed. We're going to have a few thick sods. We're recording today. We would so, have had 15 like what's more in my of an episode, but here we are. Yeah. So, <laughs> first off, um, I found this, yeah. I got this really great con, uh, Nostalgia Con in Houston this year, oh, December. God. I sent one to, to Mike because it was yep. funny because the original original Green, Green Ranger, Zoo Ranger from Zoo Ranger. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to be there. There's also going to be the the Red Pirate. Oh, Captain Marvelous. Absolutely. Yeah. He's yeah. so much fun. He's going to be there. Like, there's a whole bunch of people going to be there. And, like, like you scroll through and it just keeps going of all their guests, which is... Awesome, pretty cool to go to. Um, the problem, yes, the problem is it's in Houston. Kevin oh, Spacey. Kevin How Spacey. they they got <laughs> Kevin Spacey? There's a lot of people there, but <laughs> I'm just gonna bury that, and bury in the lead. It's a it's a duo because the guy, uh, Dave Floney, F- Yeah, Filoni. he's gonna be there for, um, who did Flick from Ants, but. I was like, oh, this is pretty fun. Scrolling I, uh, through like, oh, those all the... F- uh, I saw a Hear Me Out cake. Leave your children at home. Where the grasshopper from A Bug's Life was on their cake. And I was like, guys, do you not know? Do you not know how bad that is? Jerry, do you know what the Hear Me Out cake is? Mm-mm. You don't know what a Hear Me Out cake is? I don't think so, no. You don't, you're not on oh that side God. of TikTok? Oh, my God. Jared, you would love a Hear Me so Out. I see a lot of random shit on TikTok. I don't know so if I've seen this, So, basically, you get a cake. Uh-huh. And then you, as a friend group, decide on between five and eight Hear Me Out people. People that are not objectively attractive, but you would Fuck have them. Se- yeah. And so, like, at first, they were like, 
Flynn Rider, which is an issue now. Because Zachary Levi is kind of a piece of shit. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. And like, uh, or like the mom from The Incredibles. Like very basic. Uh, okay. Adam Driver is highly attractive. Yeah, yeah, people yeah, that yeah, are okay. conventionally attractive. I've heard and part so of this. People okay. went on TikTok and started berating these people. Like these are objectively attractive people. Mm-hmm. Hear me out. Case are supposed to be the, like the most buck wild shit. The best one that I've seen so far. Doorway with arches. Yeah, okay. I'm going to hear you out. You got to tell me. Because that's what the whole fucking point of the cake is. Mm -hmm. It's just like, doorway with arches. I'm like, uh, someone put the number eight. (laughs) And like, and the wife was like, why? And he's like, it knows what it did. (laughs) (laughs) Which is amazing. So they're getting Well, it should be the number seven. Mm. Because seven, eight, eight, nine. nine. Yep. Um... But, like, yeah, it's getting better. It's yes, so, true. like... Yeah, no, because Heather <laughs> talked about doing a Hear Me Out cake. <laughs> and she's talking about all these people that she can put on it. No, those are objective. No, 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 oh, no, okay. no, no. Oh, no. Okay. Trust me. Um, But then I'm like, I have a problem. Because everything for me is a conventionally attractive woman. Uh-huh. I can't put Songo from Inuyasha. No, you cannot. She's a conventionally attractive <laughs> woman. Spoiler alert for Heather's. You want yeah. one of Heather's? Sure. 2007 Optimus Prime. <laughs> the first Transformers movie, Optimus Prime, Willem the Tri LaBeouf. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's one of her. I'll hear me it. out. Absolutely. Yeah, I couldn't do that either because I yeah I don't think I'd think I'd have a I random mean, he's one. Fatherly, he'll rip off the edit your enemy's face. You know, Quite I can see it. Just like it's, all right, like the Black Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a concept of the black pearl. I got. I have a list because I, I got to start a list oh too. God. Heather told me to get some. Let's see. I have um, six right now. Well, give me one. I'll give you. I'm not going to give you the best. No, one, I don't want the best. One. Yeah, I don't give us the best one. one. Kanga. What's from Winnie Kanga. the Pooh? See, okay, hang on. What the fuck? Here me out. Here me out. Okay, it's fine. I just so you have you know to what? have it's a, a distinct right. line where like sure. She is technically an adult with a child. Yeah, she, okay. She's she, mother. She's, she's sweet. She, has, she, take, she take care of me. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> she's a kill. Pouch. Yeah, no, that's fine. Someone said uh, Tigger. I've seen a Tigger, which See? is fine. All right. I, I all feel right. like he's too ADHD autistic for me. Oh, that's that. You guys uh, about to say. Uh, yeah, it wasn't for the men. Sorry. <laughs> it was for the women. This. What time is Nova getting home? Two thirty. Uh, ish. Yeah. Okay. Because that's when the jammy episode will kind of, or you can go get her and bring her down for yeah. a while. And we'll finish out the episode. And then we'll have a jammy party and then you come back down for October, actually. October proper. Mm-hmm. Um, but that brings me kind of to my next point. Um, Who are you I, fucking? Uh, no, <laughs> no, no. Nobody right Thanks. now. Thanks. Actually. Um, someone just tried to Snapchat me. I'm not sure who it is. I mean, how convenient. I got my, got righty. See, see Heather, Heather calls that Miss Michigan. I, we've I've heard this like I, I like yeah I just I don't I I, so, I learned it was Rosie and her five sisters. It, it's not you're wrong. It's fine though. Just my imaginary girlfriend. It's, you know, your imaginary okay. girlfriend's got some big meaty hands, dude. I sent this to Jared, but he doesn't actually go on uh, Facebook or on uh, TikTok or on uh, who will Instagram. Get there? Instagram. We'll get there. I so I said do I, wait did I send it to you on TikTok? I might have sent it to you on TikTok. Depends, depends on what it is. Okay, I can tell so let me get this pulled up because we have to watch a video. Oh, no. I, I'm, this is going to sound like I'm making fun of this man, and I am. <laughs> hear him out. I, no, this is not a hear me out. This is. That's another problem. Is like, I don't want to put dudes on there because if I put dudes on so, there, it's going to be like, why are you putting so many guys on so this is, this is not a hear me out. This is gonna, I have respect for this individual for doing what he's doing. Mm-hmm. But it's it's gonna sound like I'm making fun of him because I kind of am. So it's this dude. Have you guys seen this dude? No. So he does like inspired outfits from like here's his beast inspired outfits. I've seen not yeah. seen this guy. I've seen a very okay. similar. And this name. is his Grimer. And then, like, just different horror. Hang on, let me find my favorite one because it's gonna be His pe- pe- down pe- here pe- always. Pe- pe- but it's it's just so Spider Man inspired outfit, outfit, right? Like you can you yeah. can just get a Spider Man outfit, yeah, no, man. No, it's, it, well, it's not supposed to be Spider Man. It's supposed no. to be inspired, right? And like those fucking memes with the where you buy the outfit. The that's issue is it's the, it's the one that uh, I yeah, sent the, to the Jared. Is this one? 
where he's Winnie the Pooh eating a honey bun? And I don't know what to make of it. I just... See, the thing is, I, I, wanna... I don't... I get, I'm tra- trying to make fun of him because, like, I if I could post that shit online, I would. But I don't have near enough confidence to yeah. do that. You know what? That, that, that's that's so, fair. But it is fucking wild. We also live in this weird that. reality where that could be satire. That And that's, I don't know. That's exactly. my issue, too, is I don't know. And I don't want to shout him out, but, like, I'll give you guys the handle if you want to go look it up. Because, again, I'm genuinely not trying to make fun of him because, like, mad respect for him doing it. Yeah. But, like, he's, uh, the force will be with RJ, the <laughs> underscore force, or May <laughs> underscore the May underscore force, um, you know, be with RJ. And I just don't, I don't know. Yeah. I got to go back in the room, guys. All right. Well. Oh, well, well, while we do that, Mike's going to go use yeah, the potty. Go. Oh, yeah, I just got Mike to, will I, be right I, back I here at really 99.8.7, The Oddcast. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Corn with... With the pug. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that today, and I'm like, I have to say, I have to share that for... Uh, so are you ready for the Space Marine movie? There's a Space Marine movie? Yeah, Henry Cavill's making it. Oh, yeah, I knew he was working on one, yeah. 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 I, I mean, I'm waiting to hear hear things about it. but That's also a segue. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, yeah, well, I, I was going to wait for Michael. <laughs> okay, here, you know, you fair know. enough point. Yeah, you know, um, you got you to gotta wait for Michael on some things. I have a God. big penis. I, I am getting into this Warhammer shit way too much i have not have you not like monetarily because i'm not doing frivolous spending right now but the lore i am jared there are creatures called orcs you would like the orcs they're orcs oh yeah no i've seen i've like i've like looked up into the lore of of i like the orcs a lot the orcs are amazing and i i really love them i don't think i could do them Orcs, I like simply for the fact that it's whatever they think something is, it just yes. is, and that's fucking hilarious to me. Yeah, I fucking <laughs> like, I, I explain that. I to love Heather, that so much. Where like an orc can have a stick with a pipe on it, and it's a gun to them if enough of them believe it's a gun. Yeah, it's like yeah. Why do they paint everything red? Because they think red goes faster, and it yeah. does. Yeah, just because they think it does. Yeah, that is their power. It's in. fucking hilarious. They're <laughs> they're a mushroom. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's the Warhammer universe. Literally, grim dark is the term that's they coined. It's the worst possible universe, and the orcs are just having a great fucking time. That's They're true. like, "All right, let's get fucking this shit up." You should the books there. I don't read, but the fucking <laughs> yeah, Anthony doesn't read. It's a yeah, real problem. I, I'm dyslexic. He says that. No, I am. He says that. I've been tested. I have we have not seen this supposed test. Audience. I have minor dyslexia. It's nothing bad, but it <clears> takes <throat> me a lot longer to read. So, in other words, don't trust Anthony if you have something you need to read to save your life, because you will die. Oh, trust me. He is not the emergency contact for that. No, I agree. Solve this riddle, Batman. Everyone would die because Anthony wouldn't be able to read it fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. I'm just, it's, I'm just bad. I got, I got. I don't know. I don't. I'm pretty sure, well, I haven't been tested for autism, but as I point to my wall Spe- of plastic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, speak, speaking of DC stuff, uh, I, I think Mike might be watching it too. Uh, but just for, for all of you at home, if you haven't checked out Penguin on HBO uh, and you have a chance, I recommend it. It's it's actually uh, it's actually been really kind of neat because you're, you're getting like the... the seedy underbelly of the Gotham that we got in the Batman, God. but you're getting it without a batman there so you're getting the crime families how the city actually works and it's it's taking place after the batman movie so you're getting to see how the city is trying to rebuild itself after what happened with all of the fucking criminal empires now at each other's throats because there's a power grab going on uh and colin farrell is penguin i i really really enjoy him i it's so he's, he's a, a great, unique I've not fucking seen the take show, to penguin. but i do like the his performance in the Batman. Well, it's I like him because he's not a rich boy with a gang who's just like nah. Like no, he's he's literally a low level gangster who's just very very good at manipulating all of the higher ups to try to get power. 
that's kind of like the whole point of this is that he's playing every single crime boss at the moment to like try to get something for himself mm-hmm. without anyone knowing that he's working with everyone and it's at times butting heads and him just being like no no you don't understand i was doing it for you you just got to give me time and then like goes to the other guy and does the same thing like it's actually really neat i really enjoy his take with it because he again he's not like seeking fighting and shit he's actually very much like pleading for his fucking life like just this cowardly little man who knows he's got nothing because if you are a regular person with no gimmick in gotham you should be afraid you're a super villain yeah you, batman will come to beat the shit out of you <laughs> uh, but jared well mike's not here and we'll just keep talking to dc yeah, yeah joker do oh thank god i was waiting to be able to just shit all over this fucking thing i refuse to watch it now i i've seen Go way too much to tell me how fucking Adam bad it Web. is it made less money than morbius it made less money than fucking anything dc has made it is now holds the record for their lowest movie to ever be in theaters dude i i can't believe now okay controversial opi- there's like a spider web right there um controversial opinions the first joker movie was not a was not a masterpiece it was a good it was a good movie i did enjoy it i'm not i'm not shitting on it i enjoyed it so the bar was i was saying what i'm getting to the bar was set low for the sequel it was i I was not expecting and damn did they fucking trip over it here 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 here's my my thing with with all of the drama and aftermath that has come out now but how the director didn't want to make it he fucking ruined he's he's essentially ruined what the first movie even had going for it now because he's just keeps adding more shit. So at this point he's he really has. He's kind of ruined what the first one had going for it. Uh, uh there was also new new the new drama that came out with it that uh <sighs> Lady Gaga, Anthony. Lady Gaga. And her sister, Stephanie her. And her brother, Kink. Yes, it's Stephanie. <coughs> came out. Gary Gaga. Good for her. Uh, she came out saying that uh, she hoped that this movie would get her some kind of nominations or like recognition, and the movie has instead gotten shitted on. And I have to <laughs> You're go. No, Margot Robbie. You know, that was never going to happen. But uh, I guess shoot your shot, and it really failed. The thing is, is she has done <clears throat> good acting before. Stars Born. Uh, the only thing I've ever seen her in myself, uh, I watched uh, the American Horror Story American Hotel. Horror Story. And she, she was, I didn't think she was the best part of that season, but she was okay for the part yeah. that she had. Like she played it to what she needed to. But but you gotta you gotta remember Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Um, <laughs> Gaga. Yeah, one word, Lady Gaga. Like like kind of Secretary of State. <laughs> Secretary of State. Lady Gaga. Um, <laughs> it's a DC comic book movie. Hey, okay. The movie. issue that I take with that statement is like then literally Zachary Levi came out after good for him after <laughs> he came out as a misogynistic piece of shit. Shazam endorses Lex Luthor. Essentially, okay. um, what happened there? You didn't see Zachary Levi? He's a Trump supporter. Oh, I did not see yeah, that. Yeah, that's a, that's and then okay. he got immediate backlash, and nobody wants to book him anymore. And he's well, really pissed off about it. And then he went on complaining about how he thought Shazam was going to be his big break. Uh, if he stopped at one, you probably yeah. would have. That's but how I feel with this, too. The thing went Should've right down the fucking drain. Yeah, I saw that. It's fucking amazing. Um, yeah, Anthony, th- this that, that movie just... <sighs> have you seen it yet? I, I have not seen Joker 2. I don't Joker really what? think I want to. What's it Jerry can't speak French. Yeah, I can't speak French. <laughs> All right, I'm fully Martin. Ad-duce. Yeah, fully. Ad-duce. Oh my god, I have fully a I have a thing which from means work shared insanity. Uh, what it means like shared insanity or sanity? It is sanity, okay. basically sanity of two. Uh, Jesus Christ! It just it doesn't make it the lowest rated score on Rotten Tomatoes. Everything I've seen for it, Madam Web did better. Than none of the Planet. story points they tried to make worked. Nothing they were doing for that fucking work. They were researching spiders in the Amazon with my parents. <laughs> 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 <Die! laughs> Uh, <laughs> researching clowns. The Anthony, Amazon the movie. reason I say that he he Todd has essentially just ruined the first movie with this one now is he's like now that. defending it with everyone complaining about that ending. Nobody complains which... about the ending. <sighs> he 
just shot. He shoots Robert De Niro, right? Oh, he's talking about the ending for the second one. Oh. He has What's not seen it, but he read the spoilers. One? Spoilers, spoilers for, for everyone, because I just it, don't fucking care listen enough. Listen to the next episode. Or don't. The, the, it doesn't matter. The ending like, of this movie... Gonna see the, anyone that's listening to us isn't going to see that movie anyway. This whole yeah. fucking movie was a court case that essentially just rehashed the first fucking movie. Society didn't say bad. or do anything new to tell a story. Relying on that first movie. And then... On top of having Harley, who is casted as a obsessed fan of Jokers, of like, I have to be like you. I'm, s- we're so alike. That's not Harley Quinn. Yeah, exactly. Hashtag girl boss. Yeah. So that happens. The movie fucking ends with them taking him back to Arkham, and then a random fucking person comes up and stabs him to death and cuts a smile on his face, and they end the movie. And then Todd came out, and people complaining about it, him being like, "Well, he was never the Joker." He just inspires who became the Joker. Which is something he said yeah. in the first movie. Fuck your anyway. ass. Yeah, remember when he goes on stage and says, hey, when I go on stage, can he call me Arthur? Yeah, Anthony, you remember, you know, you remember the end of the first movie when he does the, the blood smile with mm-hmm. his fingers? Uh-huh. It was revealed Christopher Nolan was a producer when the first movie was made. Mm-hmm. And Todd had said, yeah, so I'm thinking I'm going to have the window break and then he'll just cut a smile and, you know, it's like a nod to like he inspires the Joker. And Nolan went, no no he's not there now so they did that anyway because he wanted to tie it to heath ledger for whatever fucking reason because i get the actors were friends but the story you told in the first movie doesn't even fucking match to what that would be i hate that because heath ledger's joker permanently ruined the character yes and, and that's and that's that was a choice they made but it's also that a random person killed him and it wasn't harley like if harley did it i could have accepted that a little more it's like yeah an over obsessed yeah. fan who goes crazy makes sense a random fucking person and then the excuse being anybody could be the joker that's the point no Nobody can be. No, one Anthony, no, no. That's that's his Joker. point. The reason it was a random person is that anybody could be him, and that was the the whole no, reason for the anybody movie. Anybody can be Spider Man. And they also tried to say that he had split personality, and that's the court case. Is that Joker is a different person? That's not how it. Yeah, and that's not what the first movie did either. So yeah, it just like overcomplicated itself and bombed. Also, yeah. Lady Gaga, from what I heard, all her singing was very half-assed because they made her hold herself back to be believable, and then people really cast? fucking hated that. That's a really good point, Anthony. <laughs> why cast a professional singer if you're not really going to have her like sing, sing? Because she has to be a believable, crazy person. Then cast an actress. Or who then it's more believable. Just make her all of her singing look like it's fan- f- fantastical. So therefore, you're like, is she really good singer? Ex- yeah, no, those would have been better options, right? That's not what they chose, apparently. So I mean, that, that's I that's that. Chat GBT in a while. Um, so Maybe. yeah, that that bombed Maybe out. Better. It's just whatever. Uh, there's also Green Lantern shit that happened. Um. I got an update from one of the other uh, podcasts that I follow uh, that I talked to on uh, Twitter there um, because he was posting about some updates they had for casting wise. Uh, So apparently Josh Brolin backed out of the Green Lantern thing. Uh, He has been recasted. Give me one second. Kyle Chandler. Yes. Uh, Kyle Chandler. uh, You'd have to look him up. I didn't fully recognize him from anything, Uh, but he's replacing uh, Josh Brolin as Guy Gardner now. Uh, and Aaron Pierre, uh, Aaron Josh Pierre, Brolin? I thought that was, uh, Nathan Fillion or whatever Josh Brolin was doing. Cause he got casted in, it was revealed that he was being talked to cast and I guess he backed out last minute. So it's now going to be this, uh, it's going to be the Kyle Chandler that does that role. Uh, and then, uh, Aaron Pierre was cast as John Stewart, uh, which, uh, for Aaron, um, he was in rebel Ridge. It's on Netflix. Anybody hasn't seen that. It's. More like a modern retelling of Rambo, just really well done. I enjoyed it. Uh, but he was cast as Jon Stewart, and I'm actually kind of okay with that. The man has a very, very intense eyes that I could see uh, working well for the character. It's just the, His presence in general, I think, will work well for him. Uh, I don't have any other information on the Green Lantern guy. thing. It's just that's a thing they're working on. Oh, I know this fucking guy. Oh, he's in Godzilla. He's playing Hal Jordan. Oh, uh, there we go. Hal Jordan. What a terrible that's character to play Hal Jordan. Why are you going into someone's... Yeah, there, there we go. Uh, well, are you going in someone who's going to be 60? Yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah, like I said, Brolin was originally supposed to do that, and uh, he backed out for unknown reason, I guess. Probably because he's like, I'm probably a scheduling 60. conflict. I'm he's got too much shit. 
because he's going to show up and it's going to be Thanos again, but good yep. Thanos. <laughs> in, the, in, the doc, in the Doctor Doom who doesn't know Richard really, Reed. You really want to open that Pandora's box? <laughs> you really want me to go listen, down this rabbit hole? Listen, in the universe right now, <sighs> technically, Audrey Plaza, Audrey Plaza is death. Oh, please, And I baby. would snap half the universe for her as well. So yeah, I get it. just no, I, get it. Uh, I get it. I, <laughs> I love it. Shit, and it's fun. Mm-hmm. So I make a movie where I was an old man and she want to fuck me. Oh, she can kill me any day. Robert De Niro did oh, that. Yeah. Gladly accept it. <laughs> yeah, I will not off. fight. Mm-hmm. It's fucking amazing. I love that movie. Um, well, Anthony, <laughs> I I hate that you're. Speaking of characters appearing and going places, yep. I have to get. I've been holding on to this okay. <laughs> for fucking weeks. Jack off more often then. There has been so much leaked information. We all know how the internet works and how things just get out there. Now, Sometimes studios fair, let them out. I don't know how the internet works. Yeah, I do like I hear it's this is a fair. It's a ser- I hear it's a series of tubes under the ocean. Yeah, that sharks like to attack. Yeah. <laughs> Connected fiber tissue. It's it's basically we've basically it's like a tree. yeah just interlinked octopus if I remember correctly. Um, Name of my porno. So Sony, Sony, we have Sony. we have to have a fucking talk here from. From Teach your employees not to click links. From a boy who has loved <laughs> certain oh, characters his entire life. Oh, I'm a bat. And as the autistic fucking mental case that I am, <laughs> I want to burn your fucking studio down. And I am being dead serious. Allegedly. For legal description, for legal purposes, he is not. Oh, he's not. <laughs> oh. So there was information that came out, uh, and it's been coming out, and it's slowly piecing together, and things are getting more revealed to be what's actually true and what's not. Let's start. Spider-Man 4 is being written and made right now, and there's a lot of things that have come out with that. Not all of it bad. Like, at first, I was kind of excited for it, of like, okay, yeah, you know, we're going to get Peter, and, like, he's getting into an adult, he's, we're going to get, like, his job, and, like, whatever. Cool. And then they're like, hey, we're going to do Identity Crisis. And I'm like, hey, cool, that's great. You know, like, you kind of did it with Mysterio, but I get this is going to be, like, you're going to introduce more characters. Like, Spider-Man 2. For that story, you need a goblin, so I assume we're going to get one to make that work, because that's a very big corner point for that story, but okay. <clears throat> well, then, well, then, it all comes out when Venom 3 got revealed, Venom. and they started releasing trailers. And they showed no. And as much as no pissed me off, because, like, that just doesn't fit in the story you've told. Doesn't fucking fit. It was then revealed that, hey, guys, so you remember how we kind of retconned out that Venom was in the MCU briefly, and we just kind of retconned that out because, like, we weren't ready to do that yet. Well, they're ready to do that now, apparently. Because now it's been revealed that, hey, no... Kind of just won't be there till the end. He'll just be in an end credit. Because a fun fact for all of you who don't know comics, and I get it, there's a lot of comics out there. No has a very special ability. Much like the spider web in the universe where like Spider-Man can interconnect, No has the ability to also break the multiverse to interconnect with the other symbiotes that he's made and controls. So it's been talked, leaked, and a lot of things have been confirmed now. The Venom 3 will end with no breaking said barrier because what they're doing is that because Venom went to the MCU very briefly, he now has made known that there's this other universe and no wants that universe. So it's going to be ending into Spider-Man 4 because what movie's coming, Anthony, in the MCU? It starts with an S and ends with wars. Fantastic Wars kill you <laughs> fantastic soar rise of the uh, silver surfer the secret wars <laughs> rise of the silver <laughs> surfer. fantastic four rise of the silver surfer <laughs> war. war so secret wars is coming and a big thing that happened to secret Surf wars Mars, i should say was that spider-man got his signature black suit it was like a big thing for comics it was yeah. like a really neat thing 
So how do you do that if you don't have a Venom, right? You know, you're getting see. Yeah, no, they're just fucking bringing it in with Spider-Man 4 with that's Null. Great. And that is how they're doing it, apparently. And everything that's been leaked out is showing that is what they're doing. Fantastic. Because, uh, yeah, the Sony universe has been such a pile of shit. On top of this... When we say Spider-Man 4... Sony... Okay, so Peter, so Tom oh, it's the Wyatt. MCU. No. Oh, see, we it's be, Tom Holland okay, Spider-Man okay, Four. Yes. yes. Sorry, sorry, Tom Holland Spider-Man Four. Two Spider-Man Fours. This is that is fair. Yeah. Uh, so Tom Holland, that that is where they're headed. On top of this, the Marvel Sony deal that was reached after No Way Home was also put online, and that also made me upset because Sony's guidelines for Marvel was that hey. You can use any Sony character you want, but we have to make their movie first, and then it has to be on video on demand at least 30 days, and then they're free to go in whatever you want them to go in, and we'll just give you the guideline of what the character's supposed to be. So that Craven the Hunter, that's the Craven the Hunter we're going to get, because yeah. Sony's setting the guidelines. They're building up the, the Sinister Six. Yes, and then it's all going to cross over for Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland. And I just, I fucking hate everything that Sony's done. And now the, all of that's just going to be the canon shit did because you, they control it. Did you hear who I had uh, to get that out. Marvel <sighs> wants to direct Secret Wars? Not the Russos. Really? Okay, is now it, I'm a little curious. At, um, hang on. I'll get there. Just okay, give me a second. Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi. He didn't do bad I in like, Multiverse of Madness. It was just not a cohesive story. I, I realized now watching Agatha, there is, I believe there's a very big plot point that was not added in that movie that needed to be. Well, you see, the problem with it back then, that was so when Marvel was like, no, you can't have directorial freedom. Mm -hmm. And they were very much like, you have to have these points going on. So I think if now they're going back to the... Now let the yeah, directors let do what they want to do. Yep. do. Yeah. As long as they um, get this. But, you know, we'll f they don't have to force it. On a, on a tangent with that really quick, uh, if you haven't watched Agatha all along, I would highly recommend it. First two episodes I've watched. Oh, have you? Mm -hmm. um, spoiler free Song's for like... Oh, I, I've played that so fucking much. Um, spoiler free for anyone, uh, not including things that they've done in the show so far. But however... I believe with uh, since Anthony has seen the first two, I think that Multiverse of Madness, as things have progressed, I finally gotten confirmation on who the teen is, which helped clarify where this was going to go. I think Multiverse of Madness, the only thing it was leaving out was what made Wanda go crazy, and I because I don't buy that it was just the events that we saw in WandaVision and whatnot that caused what happened. I think. In all honesty, they are taking the full-on Wanda and Vision Mephisto story, and I think she made a deal with Mephisto off-screen, and that is what they didn't include. That is why she became the Red Witch, and that is why she was Probably. using the Darkhold, as I believe, from everything I've seen now, I think she made that deal, and the deal was that she was going to use the Darkhold to essentially open the portal to hell, and that was the deal. And because she died, that deal couldn't be made, and that is where Agatha is picking up from, is that storyline of, I'll give you your kids and everything you want, you have to give me what I want. But she died in the process. So I, I, I think that's where this is going. I'm pretty sure that's where this is headed, because it's the only thing that I can make sense of from yeah, a If they don't have point. Mephisto show up after all They've the They've name-dropped him so fucking much. <laughs> they even had a demon, like, you got to. You got to. My heart is black. <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, that's. I, uh, I, I, Agatha, I really enjoyed. Uh, people keep complaining about like, why isn't it tying more to the other things? And it it's like, just to. shut the fuck up. Let it's it find the way it is. Let it breathe. Thank you. That that that's been my biggest thing with people. It's like it, it's pulling in the dark occult side of Marvel comics that they haven't really touched on. And this is giving that shit room to breathe and come out and explore. And that's very nice. You I enjoy what, that. Do you know what didn't have a lot of connections to other things? Thor, Captain America, the first Avenger. That, that was something me and Don got into a conversation with of like early MCU did really well with 
story is kind of doing their own thing and an end credit to tie it in at the end or maybe yeah. a character cameo yeah like, and it wasn't just cluster fucks like they keep trying to do yeah. and i was like yeah like that's, that's America, the first avenger the only reference is the end credit scene yes and howard stark other than that you took out howard it's, stark it's one of those things that like once they got the ball rolling they just you don't have they forgot to do like standalone stories that worked and it was very much just a how yeah. can everything interlock one another throughout the story you, know like, you don't re- need to do that what would really help out their stories it's out. taking a trip to the Amazon with my mother to go look at spiders <laughs> <laughs> Stop <a> spider right <laughs> before he died Anthony yes do you know that if you take great power you get great responsibility oh. that comes with it careful I hear I hear people die when saying that oh yeah <laughs> Good yeah, th- yeah I heard if you phrase it differently, it's just immediate death. When you do the thing, when you have the power to do things and bad things happen, it's your fault. Yeah, you know, my uncle said that when he was uh, trying to go to Subway, and then Sandman <laughs> randomly showed up and shot him in the <laughs> Hang stomach. On. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> brought up Subway, and I just, <laughs> there's, two, there's two conspiracy theories that I want to talk about. Two? Hang on. Yeah, and then that'll, that'll end this episode. Yeah, go for it. Okay. <laughs> One, I told, I sent this to Jared. My favorite McDonald's story of all time is the suing over hot coffee. Oh, yes. yeah. yeah. I love that story. Where the lady yeah. got bullied. Yes. Yes, yeah, she did. Yes. Do you, like, for the listeners that don't know, like, it's in so many references, and McDonald's had such a large marketing that we all yes. just kind of, like, it's now pop culture reference where, like, Obviously, it was thought to be a frivolous lawsuit. Yes, and it, it wasn't. So, exactly what happened is McDonald's brews their coffee, <laughs> brewed their coffee. I still think they do at 181 degrees Fahrenheit. Yep, that is 20 degrees over anyone else. Do you know why they did this? Why, Michael? To keep the coffee hotter, longer, so they wouldn't have to waste so much coffee for right? free refills. Right. The lady got handed <sighs> the coffee. And she put it between her legs. The lid popped off and it spilled everywhere. Yes. She did not sue because the coffee was hot. She sued because the lid was not properly on when she was handed the coffee and it popped off. It didn't fit right. Mm -hmm. So she's like, well, McDonald's should be responsible for my medical bills then. That's all she sued for was yes. the. She didn't sue at first. She didn't. She did. Yeah. What? what, what, She just asked for them to cover the medical bills. Yeah. After covering the medical bills. They said, fuck off. Yep. She got a lawyer involved, and the lawyer was like, yeah, we're just going after medical bills. And McDonald's said, fuck off. The judge said, no, fuck you, McDonald's, and awarded the lady the settlement. Mm -hmm. Her labia got fused to her leg. Yes. It was so (sighs) hot. I mean, I've sweat my balls sticking my leg. I only tell that story because, like, it's one of those ones. Jared from Subway. Not me. Jared Not me. I'm Jam. Subway. I am jokey pants. He <laughs> lost weight eating Subway, correct? Sure. That is what the story is, correct? That is the story. I Do you know the AIDS. real story? No. That oh, he had AIDS. I got on a deep dive, man. I, what? He, 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 he had AIDS. He had AIDS. He had AIDS from South yeah. Park. No. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I was like <laughs> you had the same reaction everyone <laughs> at South Park did, though. I, I, first did, I, was like, I, I was like, wait, South Park was right? No. No. <laughs> so, so sincere. So. Jared Vogel lived <laughs> above a subway where a I, very I attractive young woman worked who... You've got to be fucking kidding. Hang on. Hang on. Who was super creeped out by him. Oh, I bet. So creeped out, she asked for a transfer two miles away. Do you think Jared still used the same subway? That uh, no, he lived? I bet you he Do walked two miles. Do you think he miles. walked two miles for subway every day to harass and stare at this woman? And that's how he lost the fucking weight? Was uh, walking four miles every day and eating basically low fat. Like, I'm sure the subway kind of helped a little bit because it's vegetables and shit. But that is how that man lost that weight. And then because subway got like, like he lost weight. No, no, he lost weight walking four miles a day and only eating subway way mm-hmm. it is fucking wild i went down such a deep dive and it's now See, my new I, favorite conspiracy i thought you were going food. to say like oh he lived above a subway so that was all he could really afford to eat no no you, you would hope no but no he stalked he's a, a teen wow what a surprise and then they asked for a transfer and they fucking kept going back to that subway 
because he didn't know her schedule at that time because he like they t- she talked to her supervisor or whatever and like i just need like a rotating schedule like it can't be the same time every day like i'll work whenever you need me to work as long as it's inside. so like sometimes you'd walk to the subway she wouldn't be there he wouldn't order he'd walk back right so it's four miles it's Twenty thousand steps. Like that is how that man lost sponsor? that way. It's fucking amazing, isn't it? It's fucking wild. It's my Why did it not come out by now? It is now. That's where I found it. it was on TikTok. Thank I God for TikTok. TikTok. I'm learning so much shit. So that means there was somebody at Subway uh-huh. mm-hmm. who saw this man. Uh huh. Knew this detail. Uh huh. Could tell well, the guy was a creeper at uh-huh. least. It was just like you know what. We're gonna make you our spokesperson. And then he, I think this is gonna work out great. Yeah, because like you gotta remember, <laughs> what the, the, the person he was stalking, he's like probably 32, 33. She's oh, I imagine hope eighteen. I at the time remember he was four hundred and twenty pounds. I'm uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say she wasn't, considering what he got arrested yeah. for later. Uh, if you Google Jared <laughs> so, Fogle, yeah. second picture of South Park. It's <laughs> 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 amazing. But, but yeah, that's the creepiest it, that's fucking the shit. Greatest conspiracy. Like, Fat. it's just my fucking amazing story. I was like, this can't be true. Fuck, it's true. Yeah, I want a that's six inch. I want a foot long. Give me this tuna foot long, long, baby. Six, 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 six. Italian beef and cheese. Do you we're like Italian on, meats? We're, we're making you not wear those pants. Those pants yeah. are too clean. We're we're making fun <laughs> of it, like it's a terrible story. But like when I found this out, like because like I've thought about like doing like yeah, I could probably yep. go to Subway, get a salad, a sandwich every day, and be a lot healthier than typically what I put in my body. Then realizing that this motherfucker just walked four miles every, I just rather walk four miles nope, every day, yep, like nope. than eat fucking tarmac and fucking <laughs> yoga shit. Mike, if you. Walk to Subway every, every day. day from where you live. I guarantee it's, you, it's about four miles. Someone has to pick uh, me up on the way back. <laughs> as as a cliff note on that, to, yeah. to end out here, yeah. uh, I assume everyone here knows about the Starbucks stuff, right? What Starbucks stuff? Their their orange coloring shit that came out. No, I'm getting into food talk. What about it? Oh, like, <laughs> you guys haven't heard? Are they the only one out of the three? They were put. Walk. They use ammonia yeah. to make orange in their pumpkin shit. They are literally giving people ammonia because there's no regulation against it anymore. You know why? It's cheaper to color things orange if you yeah. put a shit ton of ammonia in it. Yep. Mm-hmm. So that's what they do. That's and that came out, and everyone went, "I'm exactly. not ordering pumpkin anymore." And they went, "No, no, no, guys, we only put a little bit." And everyone went, "Any amount of ammonia is not okay." <laughs> yes. Did you guys hear about cinnamon? The, the Cin- spice Cin- or the the, the recall or the spice girl the cinnamon rec- recall <laughs> you get a cinnamon recall there's lead in cinnamon how is there lead in cinnamon cinnamon is a fucking no year <laughs> year they weren't satisfied with my parents here. generation <laughs> yeah, me... they came for us too yeah apparently <laughs> a bunch machine. of is that yeah. why i'm so dumb is i eat a lot of cinnamon i don't kid? think that's the reason <laughs> it's cute that you think that <laughs> I don't. I think there's a lot more going on than lead poisoning. <laughs> You're man. Only six brands of cinnamon are able to be eaten. Oh my god, six. That's oh amazing. God. Cinnamon's a bark for God's sakes. Well, it's the the thing that they're they, just shaving they, it with lead pencils. Yeah, they were <laughs> shaving it down with leaden oh tools and storing god. it in lead. I mean, it's fine. I got nothing else going on, so. Oh, that's hilarious, yeah. though. This is like as of this month, it was found out. Okay. 36 cinnamons were tested. Damn. Six of them are safe. Jesus. The ha- highest part is 3.52 parts per million. <clears throat> God damn. It's fine. That is. Sorry, Jared said recall, and I'm like, oh, the only six oh, safe. There's, uh... So if you've used any other cinnamon in the last few years of your life, yeah, you've had lead in you. Whole Foods, Sweet. Loiza Organic, Morton and Bassett San Fran, Sadaf Cinnamon, Three Six Five Whole Foods, and Sadaf Seven Spice. Of course, those are the only ones oh. without with a safe amount of lead. Oh, and fast food French fries are also going all over TikTok right now too because they're all fucked. We, we need to end it the episode now, but I would like to start the next episode going into October with some food talk, because we also need yeah, to talk gotcha. about the Krabby Patty. 
Oh, oh yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Family Burger King meal. I didn't know. A... Didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know. No, fuck it. That's why. We're... So, if you like what we're doing here again, we're gonna have a couple <laughs> episodes coming out back to back. We're gonna have a couple bonuses. It's gonna be some thick stones, oh. especially our first October one, which we're we'll here thick, in a couple baby. hours. Don't forget to go to our Patreon, subscribe to our Patreon, patreoncom slash oddcast. and you yes, can go yes. to all our socials. Jared sometimes posts his funnies and thinkies, and sometimes he sometimes posts me ranting about old fucking picante sauce that's so <laughs> goddamn know. gross. It's just a lit. <laughs> but we will talk about that next time. Again, if you want to give us any kind of suggestion, you can email us at what? Gmail.com. Uh, Oddcastmedia at gmail.com. Uh, you want to give us a suggestion for episodes. But other than that, thank you for listening. We'll be back in about four minutes uh, to record another episode. It's going to be a jammy party. We'll explain what a jammy party is when we get there. Thank you You're all for listening. It. We're back. Episode 273.5. Woo, 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 woo. Because it is the first video. Because Anthony's a jackass. <laughs> Have a nice day.